everybody and welcome back to Fully Charged. Today I'm very excited. We have Greg over from France. Thank you for coming over, well, Greg. Thank you for inviting me. Greg is the founder of Moustache and uh, we've been working very closely together for 10 years. And today we're here to, uh, to talk about this incredible bike, the Moustache G. If I pronounce it right G. today, G, G. I'm a huge fan of it already. You must be very proud. Yes, we are very proud and also very proud of the, the work that has been done by the, the teams. It's a yeah. really collective work. I think if we had the possibility to do that bike uh, like 12 years ago when we really started, it would have been the, the bike of uh, yeah. our dream, but yeah. we didn't have the financial resources, yeah. uh, the, technology the people with as us. Well. Yeah. It's won several awards already. It's been out for less than six months and uh, it's won the Eurobike Gold Award, which is the, the, the best award you can win in the bike industry. It's won the German Design Award. It's won so much. And we're going we're gonna to really put it through its uh, test today and we're going to take it on shingle banks down here in the New Forest. We're going to take it on the beach. We're going to take it through the city. We're going to really put it through its paces and spend the whole day really seeing how amazing it is. And uh, yeah, let's see what it can do. This feels like the ultimate terrain for this particular bike. It's oh, yeah, that's the perfect terrain for that model, yeah, yeah. for the old model. It's super happy here and uh, it, it, it feels like a kind of magic carpet because of how, you know, like the frame being one piece and, the, um, and obviously the rear suspension. It's like a whole pivot system, which I've never felt before on a bike. But the thing is that in the rear arm, you have everything. You have the motor yeah. and you also have the transmission. See, I'm in, I'm in the deep sand here and it's just absolutely nailing it. And That's the, also the feeling we had when we started testing that bike, you know. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the flying carpet. Yes, exactly, exactly. I think we could talk about the bike for hours, but yeah. I, I, I would only recommend to test the bike because that's a really unique feeling. And I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper into the stones. It's just like, it's just absolutely flawless. So it's important to say as well, as while we're going through these bikes, this bike here is actually another new moustache bike, but it's not the J. This is the Mardi, an urban bike that can go off the chosen path. For, yes, like, it's only with the yeah. uh, integrated gears. It comes yeah. in uh, two models. Yeah. Uh, the first one is uh, with integrated gears, Shimano uh, five speed yeah. um, with a Nexus. Yeah. Uh, and the second one comes with the gates yeah, and, and the, the uh, MVOLO system. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, it's a great spec bike. We're going to do another more in depth review. So, Moustache, it's been my favourite brand um, for, well, since I met you before I started Fully Charged on the, on the, the Moustache stand at Eurobike. Yeah. And, uh, and fell in love with the brand instantly. What I find amazing is it's, it's the benchmark in the industry. A lot of the other manufacturers look up to Moustache and see what they're doing and then they produce stuff. And it's strange how not that many people in the UK have, have heard about it. So I'd love you to share like kind of why and how it started. Moustache is a French brand and yeah. we started like uh, uh, 12 years ago now. Yeah. The idea was to be 100% electric because we strongly believe yeah. that e-bike can open new doors to have more people on the bikes. Yeah. Um, we are also working only with Bosch. Yeah, which as, is, as a development partner as well. Yeah. Yes, also. Yeah. And I think this is, this is also key for us because we share the same values and yeah. the same yeah. vision. Yeah. Uh, and we wanted our bikes to be a premium. Yeah. Um, and another important point is that we we develop all kind of bikes. We we have uh, bikes that are covering the different use yeah, yeah, from yeah. very city yeah. uh, to so very mixed mix usage to high end EMTB. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. we are all passionate about yeah. cycling, and yeah. our strong belief was that um, e bike would cover time after time yeah. the different segments. Yes. So that's yeah, yeah, why yeah, we yeah. put a lot of energy on every segment. 
And so how has that transponded into the birth of, of this bike? Because that bike is, I think it's that the perfect reflection of what is the brand, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, our idea is really to think open, yeah, so yeah. very easy to access, very easy to ride. You just have to, to jump on it. Yeah, yeah. It is full suspension, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, is, yeah. Uh, which is quite rare. Yeah. On, an, on a on an open frame, through, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we have had to, to work hard to have that that frame open, but also really stiff. Yeah. So there are many things you you don't see now, but yeah. it is full of technology. There yeah. are many reinforcements yeah. zone inside. I mean, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's for me, it's like um, it's it's the ultimate all rounder that can basically do anything, but then it's incorporated style, the best technology, and you know, and complete comfort, yeah, but it's control a as well. An important thing also for Moustache, since day one, was to have a strong company and to have more and more um, operation made locally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. we are also assembling yeah. our bikes in Les Vosges. Now we yeah. have more than, yeah. I mean, we are almost 200 people working yeah, here, yeah. and the idea is to bring more and more added value here. Yeah, and locally source the materials you can. So talking about the frame, it is uh, fully made in France. Yeah. We are working with a foundry in the south part of France. Yeah. Um, then it is going to uh, Le Jura a bit, yeah. bit further north. So, so cast in the south of France, and then on to the next place for the milling, the, per yes. the perfecting, yes. exactly. and the, the cut, yeah, okay. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, and then the powered coating. Um, okay, it, nice, in another made, location. Yes, yeah. close to the, yeah. the factory, okay, so cool. we are not using solvent, it is yeah. totally solvent free, awesome. yeah. and it is really durable, really uh, sustainable, and the, the idea is that the whole process, we are talking about 1,500, Kilometers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah compared yeah. to uh, yeah, 15, ships and boats and 15, whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. That's amazing. Yep. It's obviously a more expensive way of producing at the moment, though. Yeah, rather than welding and tubing. Yes, it yeah. is more expensive, but um, I think at the end, the bike looks very simple yeah. you know it's like uh, simple lines yeah. very very clean yeah. but, but it's not that easy to make a, to make it simple yeah so it's literally one part two parts that's it yeah yeah and yeah. and that that rear arm is integrating the motor and the yeah. transmission yeah so you have a full transfer of energy and it is assembled with that axle and an oversized bearing. Which is again designed in-house by Moustache. We, de we yeah. design everything yeah. at Moustache. The yeah. frame, many things that are specific, the, yeah. the cranks uh, on that bike. We, we do have also our double skin mudguard, which yeah. is really, yeah. really stiff, this really unique. This has always unique. been a huge USP for Moustache. I mean, the, the, the mudguards on some of the other brands, um, they're plastic, they bend, they look rubbish, and this will hold its form forever and it just it just works and it looks good yes. and it never looks cheap yeah. or yeah yeah it's a, it's also a good combination between design yeah because it it doesn't move it's like really clean yeah and um also uh technology uh, yeah. and it is really practical because yeah. you have all the wires yeah, yeah, and yeah. cables inside yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so it looks really clean yeah um yeah talking about the carrier that, that bike um is um, you can configure the bike on In our P website. PBS and PBL, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So that's uh, so this is the lightweight rack, which is good for five kilos each side. Yes. And then the heavier rack, heavy duty rack, yeah. is uh, is actually fully suspended. Yeah, fully and, suspended. And yeah. allows you to have more control if you're carrying a heavier load. Yeah. And uh, even kids. Yeah, exactly. Even mm -hmm. even kids. Yeah. And that that obviously is the proper rack for this bike. This is more, I would say, for the urban setup. So that bike is coming in three versions, J on, which is more uh, city urban oriented. Yeah. We have also the old version. Yeah, which is this version. Which is that version. More travel, wider tires. And the last version is the, the off. The off, yeah. Yeah. yeah which is no yeah. mud guards, naked. Like naked a, yeah, yeah, and yeah. a little yeah. bit more suspen suspension. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's really for a, a mountain biker that wants to step through bike and wants to enjoy all of this technology and yeah, comfort. Yeah, yeah. Really and cool. the bike yeah. has been tested for a month and yeah. month. Yeah. And on the off version, we, we have been quite 
extreme, you know. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's cool. Mm. So with a little overview uh, for the bike, uh, just run through it to make sure we haven't missed anything. So starting wheel to wheel, I guess, we've got the amazing front mud guards, the anodized uh, air suspension on the front, and then you've got the smart system. Uh, those of you that don't know about the smart system, we have done a specific video on it, which will go into detail about how you can lock, track, use over the air updates, you can alarm the bike, so it actually has a sounding alarm built into it. It's really cool technology. There's a few different options with the screen, but this one comes with the Kiox 300 and the LED remote. Um, the Enviolo gearing, which is a constant variable transmission, which is very low maintenance, and you can incorporate a belt drive with it. So super smooth, low maintenance, and really clean and quiet. And then going through the frame, which is obviously this cast frame, which is beautiful and very, very rigid and very, very eco. And then you have a, a seat dropper here, which is great. Now, I'm a big fan of these because sometimes you can't get on the bike properly like that, but you can just drop it down, jump on really comfortably, ride off, and as you ride off, you can lift it up. It's really good to make sure you're getting the correct posture on the bike and the correct leg extension, especially when you're gonna be riding for longer. And then you have on the back two different options for the rack, and then you have all of the integrated lights, really good quality stand that doesn't flap around. And, uh, and inside here, you have the 625 watt hour battery from Bosch, which is securely in the frame here. And, uh, and then this will incorporate a bottle holder as well for those longer journeys. Yeah, so such a clever eco design, but what's most impressive about it is riding it. You've got to ride it. And, uh, and we're halfway through our day now of putting it through its paces. It's dealt with this like it's yeah. tarmac. Yeah. And, uh, and now we're going to take it, put it through a bit yeah, more of a test. And this, uh, is, this, this is also what I came because uh, fully charged, I think it's the, the greatest voice of moustache Thank in the UK Thank you very much. since the very beginning in yep. good and bad moments. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we, we could have been talking about that bike for, uh, for hours, but yeah. what I would recommend is to go to Fully Charge and to test the bike. They, they have some uh, test bikes. We in, have many in test bikes and, and, yeah. and here is one of the places that you can come and test. Now you'll meet Steve later, who's the face of uh, Fully Charged New Forest, and this is his test track which is absolutely awesome. And then we have obviously London, which is in London Bridge. It's two minutes walk from the uh, from London Bridge station. There's loads of good routes around there. And then we have Guildford, we have Silverstone, we have Cornwall, and more to come in the future. But, um, but yeah, come and check them out. It will blow you away. This blooming magic carpet is next level, I'm telling you. Okay, okay. Okay, not bad. It makes it so easy. I mean, this is pretty intense shingle. Like, you couldn't do this on a normal bike. And I'm just cruising along here, no problem. In fact, I want to go over the rocks, you know, to, to see how how smooth it is. I'm gonna go over all of these rocks, look. It's just, it's just no problem. Really fun. What the, the geometry and the kind of stiffness of the frame, but with the control of the suspension makes everything so fun and so smooth that you just want to keep going like pothole no problem you know it's just brilliant and you can also go into auto which will preserve your battery and take into consideration wind resistance inclines terrain and it, you can keep your cadence the same and it will just do it all for you i think i might go up here now I'm off guys, I'm carrying on.
here now at Hearst Castle. This is uh, a couple of miles away from any form of civilization. And uh, this is a place that you can only get to by e-bike, helicopter, or foot. But you could not cycle here on a non-electric bike. Anyone that can, fair play to you. There's gonna be some mad guys out there that can do it, but no, not, not normal. Um, this is a spot where it's so nice to come out here and just have a little moment, have a little breathe, have a little meditate, whatever you need, and just connect with nature. I've got a sweat on, which is nice, my heart's going, and I'm enjoying it. Sometimes you hit these spots, which are like sinking sand, and you have to really work. So first of all, I just want to say massive thanks to you two. This has been a great. Steve, Greg, thank you so much for coming. Thank you all the for way having from me. And, uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you for coming. And those of you that don't know Steve, Steve is fully charged New Forest. He is, uh, he is a serious, serious, hardcore geek when it comes to bikes. He knows everything about e-bikes. But this bike has performed. Greg, you'll be pleased to know it is unbeatable. Nothing can stop it. Even the two mile shingle path which basically is like seriously quite hardcore actually. Yeah. I think the, the train was that just perfect for that bike. Um, I think it is also perfect uh, in the um, yeah. in London city with yeah. the gates. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it would be also perfect in the in the forest and more yeah. uh, extreme. It really can do everything, can't it? And Trails, um, so. Yeah, for, for me, it's a great lifestyle bike. You can do a bit of mountain biking with it. Yeah. You can do, it's great on the road. You can do the gravel tracks, and we've got loads of gravel tracks. We've come to the beach part of the new forest. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We've got the forest part of the new forest exactly, as well, exactly. which has got hundreds of miles of gravel tracks, yeah. which this thing is a dream for. Well, that's a really nice time to, to wrap this up. And um, yeah, hit us up with any comments, any questions you've got. Come and check it out at any of our partner stores or in London. And um, yeah, we love making these videos. See you next time. <laughs>